Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today we are in the Premier Plus 2 Ultra Create module, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Shape Maker. So, I am in the Premier Plus 2 Embroidery Ultra software, and I am going to go down into the Create module, which is the little tulip at the bottom. That will be found in the left side, and that is going to bring up a screen that looks like this. And basically what I'm going to do here is just say cancel. And I'm going to go into the quick create tab, and I'm going to go into the shape section going to bring down all these shapes. There are a ton of them there. Well, not a ton, but there are quite a few. So what we're going to do is just pick one. And once you've picked the shape, once you click here, it makes the shape. There are a couple of different ways to do this. You can, if you have, I won't get rid of that. If you select your pattern fill and you say, I want a uh, radial fill, I'm gonna pick another shape because this one's a little harder to work with. If you can say radial fill, you can say, um, do I want a running stitch on the outside? Do I want no stitches on the outside? Remember, if you click on the top, it gets rid of that. So there's no stitch, no outline stitches. Um, you can say, I want a satin line around it. You can say, I want it to be an applique. And we're going to pick our shape, which has been done. I'm gonna just click it now, and there is my shape. I can, if I hold down the shift key, it's going to resize it proportionally. Once I'm clicked in there, I can right click. This is the little center icon. I can move this around so that I have different variations of that spiral. I can still mess with things here. And my satin line, I don't want it to be one millimeter. I want it to be four millimeters. I want to make sure I catch those fabric ends. So I'm going to hit apply. I say, okay, that's an applique using the shape maker. From there, I can do a file. I can export the applique piece. I can print it out. So what I'm going to do is go to print the template. I always, and on my machine, I have um, what's called Bull Zip PDF printer. That's a free PDF printer that you can um, download to make PDFs. Um, so some of you have a print to a Microsoft printer on there, uh, print to PDF on there, whatever your choice is. But I always save it to a PDF first. That way I always have that template just in case I lose it or something. Okay. But for now I'm just going to hit print and it's going to print out a copy of my template. I can use that template to cut around my fabric. Um, so I'm not wasting a lot of fabric. I generally uh, cut it just a, my fabric. I cut it just a little bit bigger than my template. And then I trim it after I've done my stitch down. Okay, so that's basically how you do the template. 
You can also do a export for file cutter up here, in which case you click that icon and pick what type of file cutter you have and put it, I have a Cricut, so I would choose SVG. And after you have done the exporting of the template, I also do a save as. That is not going to save it as an embroidery file. It's going to save it as an editable file. So I'm just going to say um, B L O B. I'm going to name it any old thing for now, just to, and I'm going to put it out on my desktop again because I'm probably not going to keep this file. And we're going to say save. So if I want to go back later and change all this stuff around, I can do that. That's why you create that EDO file, because you're going to find that you're probably going to go back in and change a few things up. Okay, then we're going to go to File, and then we're going to do Export and Bordery. And when I'm in the Create module, I get rid of Color Sort. If you are doing anything in the hoop and you have not changed colors for each section of the design and it's all the same design, it, it, all the same color, Color Sore is going to put them all together with no stops in between. And you need those stops um, so that you can lay different fabrics down and whatnot. It's kind of hard to explain, but anybody that does in the hoop stuff knows that you will put your fabrics down in layers. So you want either a different color for each layer, and uh, we're going to uncheck that color sort. So if you forgot to make things all different colors, um, it won't blend them all together. Hope you understand that. Anyway, so I'm going to say OK. It's going to export, choose, choose my file type. Again, I'm going to put it on the desktop because I'm probably not going to save this. You can see that I have been messing around with uh, Easter eggs. This will be a crazy patch Easter egg. This was my shamrock. Um, there's the desktop. And say export. So that is how you use the shape maker. And remember, there are all kinds of shapes that you can play with. First, you make the shape, bring that down, then you click on the shape. You can do your fills and outlines before or after you do it just by right clicking and doing your properties. So, have fun with this. Thanks for listening.